On the banks of the Fitzroy River in Western Australia's Kimberley region, a group of women lay their hands on a patient. <laughs> using traditional methods to heal physical, mental and spiritual ailments. And we rub her straight down all around, everywhere in the back and sing. For cultural reasons, their identities are kept a secret. We've been doing this for ages, for a long time. The women work for Jalanangaru Healing in Fitzroy Crossing as a part of a pilot program. The cultural healers are paid to work with patients with ailments sometimes beyond the reach of other health providers. It's a service born out of necessity. The real kick-off was after a spate of suicides here in the Kimberley. The deaths, many of them Indigenous children, prompted local medical services to search for solutions. It was clear that, and, and everyone knew that cultural healing needed to be part of the answer for our people here in the Kimberley. The program coordinator says there's been strong local support for the pilot program and as the service shifts towards a fee-for-service model at the end of the year, they hope it will continue. Moving forward, we want to see healthcare providers take it up and access um, the healers and give them, give them work. The program is now working with local medical services to make cultural healers a permanent part of healthcare. Hannah Barry, ABC News, Fitzroy Crossing.